looked at the beach cam, saw that water. I was like, man, I gotta get out there. It's gorgeous. Not necessarily the ideal conditions, but I'm not gonna do set rigs today. I'm gonna walk with a Carolina rig and throw in these deep holes. I feel like just moving from hole to hole, fishing different locations, slowly reeling that bait in is gonna be my best bet on getting on some whiting or pompano today. And I'm using my Shimano GLF medium seven foot rod with a pen Pursuit 3 2500. Got 10 pound braid and just a regular Carolina rig with a half ounce egg weight. Got the white bead on it, 15 pound mono leader. I had so much better luck using a J hook for the mangrove snapper that I'm gonna try one out here for whiting and pompano. This is an owner number two SSW straight eye hook. And for bait, I'm using this frozen shrimp that was fresh dead from half edge. And I'm just gonna cut it in small little pieces. Hook a piece on, get it out there and see if there's some fish. And I'm just gonna cast it out to the edge of the bar over there. Well, I didn't get it quite that far, but that's all right. And just kind of slowly work it in. Try to find where the fish are cruising at. I can see some bait right up here at shore already. All right, no bites, I'm gonna keep moving. I also wanted to move because I can cast to the edge of the sandbar over here. I think I can reach it. The other spot is a little too far. I have I, I, I have good luck finding whiting close to that sandbar. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Definitely a bite though. I was reeling it in a little closer. I'm not even gonna throw it far. I'm gonna... That fish was much closer to shore. Little whiting. I'm not fishing down here just because it's a big, there's a big cliff. Nice, that's a that's a keeper size. First fish of the day right there. Nice hookup on them. Went right, look at that. You can barely see it. Went through right through the bottom, bottom jaw. And that that's a keeper size whiting. And you saw where I cast it. They, they weren't, he wasn't far at all, and he hit it about instantly. This is the nice thing about fishing with a Carolina rig, was with set rigs. You're waiting for that bite this way you feel it you said it you, you got them happy to see this guy hopefully there's plenty more let's get us another one i would not mind coming home with a few whiting let me get it about the same zone that's not how far it was if you can see that splash i'll try to point it out for you i mean just 10 20 yards off the beach if that and sometimes when you're fishing a hole there's only so many whiting in it so don't don't catch a fish and then get stuck there if you're not getting bites 10 like five ten minutes after you caught that whiting move on because it might have been the only whiting in this whole hole uh, there he is yes he's running in with it oh he popped off i'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him. He knows where the fish, he knows where the shrimp's hanging out now. He's gonna come right back for it. All right, get back out there. I bet he's still there. Oh, man, he's pecking right away. snagged it too <laughs> I wonder if that's what's been going for it I straight up snagged him though that's perfect bait size if I had a bigger hook I'd throw him out there alive I'm gonna go past this point down here and fish that hole behind it see if there's any whiting hanging out over there got some deep water here close to shore so I'm going to check it out. Hopefully there's some fish hanging out in it. Oh, 
I know there's something there. There we go. Yeah. Here he comes. He swam right in. Another little lady fish. These are perfect bait size, man. I wish I brought another rod with me. But at least I hooked this one properly. Oh, he's swallowed. He's bleeding all over me, man. Another ladyfish. This is what they look like. Get a better view of it. And this is a small one. They, they get much bigger than this. Still fun to catch. They'll put on a show. They'll jump out of the water and splash. And they're just one of the summer species out here. Make great bait. Do not recommend eating them. I actually gill hooked this fish pretty bad. He bled everywhere. And he doesn't look like he's going to make it. I'm actually going to just save him for bait. I'm going to freeze it. Bring it back out here, use it for cut bait. Off to the next hole. There's two holes right next to each other over there. I'm gonna hit both of those. All right, made it to the next hole. Hopefully this is the whiting hangout. Something out there. Got my shrimp. That's a good sign though, I had some nibbles. It's getting hot out here. I gotta sit down. I'm getting, I'm probably slightly heat exhausted. I have been drinking water, but I'm just getting weak and dizzy. So I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Sit down and catch a fish. That's how I like it. That's a decent one. He's got some fight to him. Oh yeah, pulling drag and everything. I think I actually have it a little loose. Oh yeah, he's a good whiting. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is a nice whiting right there. I'm gonna get a measurement on him. I'm not dizzy anymore either. That, that got my energy levels back up. A little bit of adrenaline. That's a 15 and a half inch whiting right there. That's a stud in my book. Definitely coming home. He's got a lot of meat on him, nice and fat. I've been focusing on the edge of the sandbar out there, but that one was just right here. Maybe five, 10 yards from shore. All right, I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing. I sit back in my chair, well, my cooler rather, and just lob this out. Sit here and wait. There's something pecking at it. Look at that guy. <laughs> oh man that might be one of the smallest whiting i've ever hooked he's not three inches man little baby it's all good and he ate it i mean that got in his mouth and everything he was hungry he he got himself a meal though he ate both pieces of shrimp i put on there there's a ton of birds hanging out over here got sandpiper seagulls there's some pelicans further down i'm taking your spot guys hopefully you've been seeing some whiting yeah, nice, nice deep water, real close to shore over here. I am gonna sit down and relax again. I'm just barely lob it out there. I'm gonna stick close to shore again. Give this uh, 10, 15 minutes. And then head back home. There we go. There we go. Right. Wasn't long at all. Maybe one minute. That's definitely another keeper size right there. Good hook set. And that dude's about 12 inches. And he hit right away. That's why I just keep moving. Go from hole to hole. Throw bait in. 
Wait five, ten minutes, no bites, move to the next one. You catch a fish, do it, wait another five, ten minutes, move to the next one. But awesome catch. I'm gonna call that a win. Going home with three nice size whiting. So I, I got dinner and these views, you can't beat them. It's beautiful out here today. Had a blast throwing a Carolina rig, waiting for those bites. Once you find it, setting that hook, man, it's so much fun setting the hook. And thanks again, Wesley Hackney, for letting me know that you've been catching whiting close to shore between Navarre and Portofino. So thanks, dude, that, that's awesome. Throwing in that report in the comments and Anyone else who wants to do that, I'd really appreciate it. It helps other viewers out reading the comments that might live in the area. Definitely helps me out. But hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and tie lines.